Hey everybody, today I'm going to be diving into the options menu on the new EQ2 programmable EQ and showing you how to use it. The options menu is the key to most of the parametric editing functions on the EQ2. So we'll start with accessing the options menu, which is pretty simple. You're just going to press and hold the center encoder knob. So you get to your first option, which is frequency. I'll show you first how to scroll through them all. Just as if you were adjusting a frequency, you just turn the encoder. So the first thing you land on is frequency. Uh, that means you can adjust the uh, center point of any frequency band. So by default, the first band is set at 31 hertz, which is the lowest band, uh, the bassiest. You can actually set it even lower just by turning the encoder here all the way down to 20, which is pretty much the lowest the, uh, the human ear can hear. Once we got it where we want it, you just click it again, and then it is set in place. So we'll go back to the options menu, holding down the encoder. The next thing you can adjust is Q factor. Uh, that is how narrow or wide each band is. So the default is one. Uh, you can get it up to 10 times as narrow or about twice as wide. Again, just set it where you want it. This, uh, this can be done with any frequency filter you choose. So if we go to the first band or the 10th band and enter the options menu, hold down the encoder, there should be an option called shelf. And turning this on will allow you to change the, uh, the first filter or the 10th filter to a shelving shape instead of a peaking shape. Uh, the default is set to a peaking shape like all the other filters, but you can make it a shelving uh, shape if you would like to. Now, another cool feature is the high pass frequency, which the default is set to 100 hertz, which is pretty much off. You can adjust that as well. So I hope this helps you get a good sense of what's in the options menu. There are a few more things that I didn't cover, but now you should at least know how to do some of the more parametric editing functions on the EQ2.